Tracy Harshberger. I want to give a big shout out to you before I start the video today. Tracy, thank you for contributing to me on Patreon. I appreciate it so much. I really do. You can now watch all my extra videos that are on Patreon that I put up all the time and help support my channel, help me keep going, help me make videos like the one you're about to watch. Tracy H, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, today's video. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. Tramps like us, baby, we were born to run. But were we born to run? I don't know if I was born to run. I don't like to run. I like to meander, shuffle. I, I was born to meander. That's what I was born to do. And that's what I do. I meander around, shuffle about. Baby, we were born to meander. Look here. That's the Blovelt Diner. What's a blow belt? What's a blow belt? Well, if you told me, blow belt's a town in New York, just about 45 minutes from the city, from New York City. But if you told me, if I, if something was wrong with my car, I was thinking about this on the way down. If something was wrong with my car, and I took it to a mechanic, and they said, ah, it's your blow belt. I'd say, oh, yeah, okay, well, I guess better fix that. Better get a new blow belt. And they'd say, no, 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 you need, you need two blow belts. Say, so, well, put in two, two blow belts then. Gotta put it in the blow belt. That's what, that's what the name blow belt sounds like to me. But blow belt is a town. And it's really nice. It's small, it's tiny, but it's famous. Why? Because of Born to Run. The song by Bruce Springsteen. Not the album. The song. So in a moment, I'm going to get to... Uh, what I'm getting to. But there's a record studio here. But this used to be a diner called the Blowvelt Diner. And it was Bruce Springsteen's favorite diner when he came here. He ate here all the time. It's a sushi restaurant now. And it says open, but they're closed. However, thanks to a phone call I made, I'm going in and I'm going to show you what the Blowbell Diner, Bruce Springsteen's favorite little restaurant, looks like today. And see if there's anything on the wall about Bruce. Bruce! Let's go inside. I got to knock and wait, but they're there. They know I'm coming. Sushi restaurant now. It's a little diner. How cool is that, huh? Right there. And they have a party room available. Oh, look, I gave it away. Ramon's recorded here too. So, very famous recording studio is right here. 914 Sound, right beside it. It's now a car wash. And I believe at the time, it was, an, it was a, like a repair shop for cars back in the 70s. And then it became a record studio. And who recorded here? Well, Dusty Springfield, The Ramones, Janice Ian, and Bruce Springsteen, the boss, right there. So you see here, they've got a sign 
the Historical Society of Rockland County, 914 Sound Recording Studios. On this spot in the 1970s, a garage was reborn as a refuge where rock and roll bands gave voice to a generation yearning for change. Stop it, truck. Doesn't say that. Back when music was captured on vinyl, for Arthur's ugh, 914 Sound Recording Studios allowed musicians the freedom to own their craft away from the pressures of the big city. Among the iconic tracks laid down here were Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run and Janice Ian's At 17, anthems of youthful rebellion em emblem <laughs> emblematic of the time. The music made here endures long after 914's last note. Nyack. So, Bruce Springsteen recorded tracks for his first album here. Second album, entirely recorded here. Third album, which was Born to Run, he recorded the title track called Born to Run, you're right, in this little building, right here. Let's see what we can see. Now, unfortunately, they're closed. It's the middle of the day. I guess not a lot of people want their car washed in Blovelt. They're going somewhere else to get their Blovelt changed and get their car washed in detail, but it's right in here, in this building. I'll show you what I can show you. Let's go take a look. So Bruce started writing Born to Run when he was only 24 years old, and it took him over six months in the studio to perfect the song. Over half a year, he made numerous changes to it that didn't all last, including a backing chorus and various string arrangements. One of uh, Bruce's biggest inspirations for Born to Run was Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. that was behind so many different hits by Ike and Tina Turner and the Ronettes. And the single Born to Run made its radio premiere on November 3rd, 1974 on Philadelphia rock station WMMR, nine months before the album officially dropped. It's actually a busy little street. It's Route 303 going through Blowbelt, Rockland County. So it's a little loud. Busier than I thought it would be. But this is the original building right here beside me. And somewhere out back here, no, not the out back, no blooming onion, somewhere out back of here was a football field that the uh, owner built for Springsteen and the boys to give them something to do, something for the musicians to do. So there was a football field back here. I don't know if it was right here on this part, but members of the E Street Band used to camp out instead of to save money, because they didn't have a lot of money back in those days. They were given a $25,000 advance, Bruce was given, to record Born to Run. So most of it was recorded at another studio in Jersey, but he loved coming up here because he could get away from the pressures of the big city, like the sign says. And, uh, but they would camp out here, in tents, right where I'm standing, the E Street Band. Little Steven, Clarence Clemens, you name it. Max Weinberg, the other East Street Band guys. So Bruce Springsteen is known as something of a perfectionist in the studio, and even back then, it would take him sometimes like 100 takes of a song until he thought he had it right. And usually he would work late into the night and into the early morning. After they were done here at 914 Sound Studios, they moved the Born to Run sessions to the record plant in New York City, where the remainder of the album's tracks were recording. At first, they didn't think they were going to use any of the 914 sessions, but they kept the title track, Born to Run. Now, I peeked in the window, and it looks like, uh, looks like the business is empty, but you can still kind of see how it looks like a... It, it's weird. It looks like a recording studio. Have you ever been inside a, a professional recording studio? They're never as glamorous as you think they're going to be. Some are. Some have been. The Nirvana Foo Fighters one that is on my channel. Um, that's an amazing studio. I'll put a link to that video below. That is gorgeous, inside and out. But a lot of recording studios that I've been to, they're kind of run down. It's all about the music. It's all about the inner parts of the studio, the console and the, the equipment and the rooms where they record. But, the, but the, always the lobbies and stuff are kind of, well, run down, junky. Take a look. Hard to see, but there you go. I don't see anything about Bruce on the wall. But people have been here recently, so it might still be open. Yeah, a little TV on the wall there. If you can see, it's hard to see. It's so dark. I'm sorry. 
We really thought, I really thought it was still open. I called the diner, but not this place. I don't know why, I, I just assumed this was open. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of uh, just, uh, this would be the original style, like the original floors and the, and the rooms, but it's no longer a sound studio. It is now a car wash. And car wash, yeah. That was not recorded here. Car wash. If you were open, I'd leave you a tip. So right there and back, they actually put an amp out in the backyard to try and get the right sound. They put amps everywhere to try to get the right sound. They had an amp in the studio, one in the bathroom, and then right there in the backyard of the studio where I'm standing, they put an amp just to try to get the right sound for Born to Run. Places like this, this is what really interests me. This is what really gets me going. It's kind of what's at the core of my channel for me personally, because my, 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 my channel is about pop culture. And I do the filming locations of stuff, of movies and TV, and uh, famous artists and, and celebrities, houses, things like that. All about pop culture. But what really, when I get down to it, what I like is I like to see places where art was created. And pop art. You know, more mainstream sort of stuff, I guess. Sometimes it's, it's a little more obscure. But that's what I really like. I like to see where artists created things. And the, the fact that Bruce Springsteen created the song Born to Run, one of the most epic rock songs of all time, right in this little building behind me, really, really excites me. Like a lot. I think that's really cool. So when I, when I think about like what my channel's about, if you're new to my channel, that's really what it's about. I try to find places, that's why I like filming locations, because I like seeing how they look and why it's, why a uh, like, location manager, then producer and director, why they chose that place, why they chose that for the movie, what it, what it means to the movie, how it fits in. And same with things like this, I like, like knowing like why, the, why they came all the way out here to record an album, the area around it, get a feel for it, and to know that inside of a building, I would love to be inside to show even more if it was open, but just seeing this part, I just think is amazing. I love stuff like this. Yes, I do. Yes, you, man sleeping in the car over there. Huh. <laughs> he just, <laughs> there's a dude in that car. He's sleeping. He just looked up. Hmm. Walking away slowly. You know, I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, this is the back of the building. Building? This is the back of the building. Back of the building. Right here. And it's a hand wash. At the hand wash, yeah. Now, I wonder if this... Oh, it's a, it's a fender grip. Yep, that would be used on Born to Run. They use a lot of fender grips when they recorded Born to Run. That's just a well-known fact. I don't know what a fender grip is. Pylon! All right, so that's it for the former 914 Sound Recording Studio right here. Springsteen, Ramones, Dusty Springfield, all in here. Ain't that something? That's something. Why aren't you open? They're not. Uh, I'm always just yelling in parking lots or yelling on the streets. Somebody asked me the other day if I get self-conscious walking around all the time in the middle of nowhere sometimes, or even in heavily populated areas targeting myself or talking to a camera. Where well, I'm not talking to camera, I'm talking to you. You're with me, you're right here beside me. These travels are for you, the viewer, you specifically, coming along with me. For those of you who can't get out to places like this and want to see it, if I feel self-conscious, no. First of all, people all the time are walking around talking to their phones. You don't know if they're FaceTiming somebody, Facebook uh, video calling somebody, the whole thing. Everybody's always walking around talking on the phone. No, I don't feel self-conscious. No, I'm taking my shirt off. No, I don't feel self-conscious at all. See? No, nothing. Hello, hi, hello. That's annoying, that's aggravating. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, more videos coming. Not necessarily from Blowvel, I'm off somewhere else. Thank you so much for watching. Check your Blowvel. If you got a blown blow belt, get it fixed because if you got a blown blow belt, you are you're screwed. Get it fixed. Check your blow belt. 
All right, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace. Out.